Hello, and thank you for standing by, and welcome to the eighth episode of the World Series on Data Virtualization. My name is Kim Lukens, and I'm the moderator for the World Series on Data Virtualization. And please note that the webinar will be made available for on-demand viewing following the event. Denoto Technologies is sponsoring this series of expert talks on data virtualization throughout the rest of 2011. Today's topic is on data virtualization for call centers, featuring Juan Manuel Mondero, Business Applications Manager, and David Alvarez, Client Operations Manager with Jazztel Global Call Centers. We are pleased to offer this session to you, which will be presented in Spanish with interpretation in English for our audience. Now I'd like to invite Angel Vina, CEO and founder of Denoto Technologies, to share with you some key points to kick off this episode. Angel? Thank you, Kim. As you heard from our moderator, my name is Angel Vina. As the Chief Executive of Denodo, I want to thank you all for your attendance to this new session of the World Series on Data Virtualization. Also, now that data virtualization has certainly become an essential technology to create data integration and data provisioning solutions, I want to invite you to complete this cycle of webinars about concepts, good practices, and use cases that we have gathered at Denodo from experiences around the world. A must-do to understand the state-of-the-art data integration. In today's webinar, we introduce an innovative company in accelerated expansion that has used data virtualization as a key enabling technology to create an award-winning customer service operation. This company is Yastel, a telecommunications operator in Spain. Yastel has been a pioneer in using data virtualization to create unified views of customer data in its call centers both in Europe and Latin America. Our featured speakers are David Alvarez, General Director for Client Operations, and Juan Manuel Monadero, Director of Client Applications. David will describe how data virtualization solutions have added differentiation to Yastel in the market and have impacted important customer services areas, such as the optimization of customer care processes, the capacity to absorb the rapid growth in clients, the productivity of the call center's agents, and finally, the flexibility to adapt to both changes in the IT infrastructure of the company and changes in business directives. Juan Manuel has been driving the project for call center's unified agent desktops at Yastel since its inception and has supervised its development, deployment, and operation at a larger scale for more than two years. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming our guests today, David Álvarez and Juan Manuel Monedero. Gracias, Ángel. Buenos días a todos y bienvenidos a las series mundiales de virtualización. Thank you, Ángel. Good morning to everyone and welcome to the World Series on Data Virtualization. My name is David Álvarez and I am the Client Operations Manager here at Jastel. Today, we would like to share our experiences with the use of data virtualization in our organization. I would like to highlight two main areas where the technology has provided tangible benefits. One, from a Gestel customer perspective, in the last year, our clients have benefited from the increase in first call resolution rate by five points and a 10% reduction in call times due to more efficient handling of data. This is, this is a key achievement point given Gestel's focus is to solve and care for our customers from a quality and efficiency point of view. Number two, from an organizational perspective, some of the key benefits realized have been the doubling of Gestel's customer retention rate in a very competitive environment and reducing the back office workloads by more than 50%, with the resulting efficiency inside the company. I would like to walk through the agenda for today's session. We will begin with a view of Gestel as a company, our evolution, and views on customer structure. Juan Manuel will later describe the need we had in Gestel and how the data virtualization project came to be, together with an overview of the technological solution implemented by Gestel. We will close with details on specific benefits leveraged both by our customers and the company. Gestel is currently a leading telecommunications operator in Spain. We have a quadruple play catalog of products, voice, data, internet, and OMV, that is catered both towards the residential market and businesses, predominantly SMBs. 
Jastel has the largest fixed telecommunications network in Spain with over 851 connected centers. One of Jastel's key competitive differentiators versus other telcos in the market is our strategic focus on ensuring highest quality not only of our products, but our services and customer support. Our management guideline is to have our support centers inside the organizations. In other words, we do not work with external or outsourced services. Given the importance we give customer support, the best way to ensure the maximum quality is having our internal and integrated platform. Now I would like to give you an overview of our position and evolution in the marketplace. In the last year, and based on this year's third quarter data, we are the broadband operator with the highest growth with a 30% increase in our customer base. In addition, our market quota is growing progressively, and we currently have over 9% of the market quota in the Spanish broadband provider market. In addition to the maximum quality of service, another JASTEL key differentiator is our constant search for technology innovation. We're currently deploying a content distribution network closely related to a new product that will shortly be launched in the marketplace, where we are implementing the possibility of providing over-the-top services for a la carte television, provision via our network, our ADSL services, using our own CDN. Our significant growth in the virtual mobile market, with a 75% growth of our customer base this year alone, has led us to invest in the acquisition of radio electronic spectrums to help our expansion in this market and not depend on any other operator. And our active client base has now surpassed the million mark. I will now hand the presentation off to Juan Manuel Monedero, who will walk you through how the data virtualization project emerged and how it was deployed. Desarrollando cómo surgió el proyecto y cómo se desarrolló. Gracias, David. En este entorno en el Thank que... you, David. Given the highly competitive and changing nature of the market we work in, we needed to evolve to a business and IT structure that allowed for the fast-paced adaption to change. This included the need to optimize customer support services, improving the quality and timings, and helping increase productivity to cater for the existing and growing client base. To do so, we needed to provide the call center with more agile tools that could integrate with more information systems. So where did we start? At Jastel, we have an internal platform that supports over 1,900 employees and an additional 1,000 operators that are distributed geographically across three call centers, one in Argentina, another in Chile, and the last one in Spain. From a technology standpoint, we have an architect architecture based on Avaya and a CTI software from Altitude. From a data integration needs perspective, we manage various software and management tools, such as our CRM, Incident Resolution System, Network Management Systems, Test and Diag Diagnostic Systems, and Logistic Portals, to just name a few. With this scenario, one of the challenges we had was unifying the different tools and data access for all agents, independent of their geographic location. To do so, we needed to integrate all our systems with the CTI software to ensure provisioning the agent with all of the data required during the call. We also needed to provide a flexible, agile, and scalable technology that was not possible with systems or technology that we had to date. The initial areas where these improvements and changes would have an impact are process automation that would significantly improve FCR levels, this would imply reducing the number of applications required by the agent to solve client issues during the call and avoiding having to pass these to the back office teams. To achieve this, we needed to move to a flexible and adaptable scenario for the tasks assigned to each of the operations groups. With all this in mind, the decision was reached to implement a single CTI integrated platform that provides all the information and operations required for the provision of the highest quality of service. This is where the unified desktop that provides the single view of the, of the customer solution was initiated. So why data virtualization? Because data virtualization allows a virtual access to data queries and execution of transactions for many of our information systems, be it internal company data 
or from external sources such as logistic systems data. All this delivered with impressive deployment timescales and costs. In order to create the unified desktop for the single customer file, we considered various alternatives. One was via an internal development of the integration of all the, necessarily da all the necessary data and information systems. This proved non-viable due to the cost and internal resources required. The other alternative was data virtualization solution that would readily provide the solution so we could focus on the functional aspects of the project and address the issues being raised by the call center and the back office. In this slide, we can see the initial scenario we were working with where the agents needed to manage various systems and applications in parallel, resulting in long call time resolutions. With the deployment of the data virtualization platform and the single customer file, we managed to isolate the information that the agent needs to manage from the data sources themselves. That isolation is managed via the data virtualization platform that captures information from the various systems and combines them to later offer an aggregate view of the data. Another key aspect of the data virtualization platform is that as you now have the data unified from various data sources, we can later leverage this data for future applications such as web cell service via private client access via jastel.com or for other future business requirements. In order to deploy this project, we defined the following series of guidelines. Key was the organization of the information itself. The new solution and client view is orient oriented towards the use by agents, providing an information structure that is easily accessible. It was key that the information was presented in hierarchical order and in line with the profile and functions and different roles. The information for each functional profile is presented via a single screen, avoiding, whenever possible, the use of navigation bars and increased call times. In regards to its look and feel, the application is standard and common for all profiles, independent of the information shown. Due to the operational requirements in the call center, we have flexibility in the execution modes of the application. In the first case, integrated with Altitude. This is where agents are attending calls in the front end as they are integrated with Altitude. We can execute this mode online. The client view is automatically executed with the inbound call. The other scenario or other mode is through the back office. For the back office teams, the application can be executed without the need to, for Altitude authentication. This means without needing to have the client on the phone and manage the client requirements on the unified desktop. The technical solution that we adopted is based on the integration of the following elements. First, the graphical interface, which is a web application visible for all agents that is integrated with Altitude, the CTI application that invokes the application. Underneath is the middleware platform. This is the Denoto data virtualization platform that integrates the information from all the required systems. And then the fourth element are the data sources all systems accessible via the middleware platform. On this side now, we can see Jastel's data virtualization platform. We can see the various information sources, such as provisioning systems, finance, CRM data, ERPs, etc. All this information is abstracted into a virtual database via the virtualization platform that is later published in views to the various consuming applications. Our unified desktop is used by different profiles, the different support groups, be they customer support, customer retention, payment, technical support, etc. As we can see on this slide now, the application design and architecture are oriented towards the agent in a simple and unique screen. In the top part of the screen, we find the basic customer data. And on the bottom half, we find a series of tabs that give the agent access to different functionality, such as personal data, payment data, retention policies, etc. The information is presented to the agent in an aggregate format that encompasses information from all sources and in a standard format that allows for better and more focused call resolution. Underneath the web application, we have the, middle, the middleware platform provided by Denodo. 
This is the virtualization platform that allows us to access any system data, both for data extraction and the execution of internal transactions with clients and vendors. For example, it allows us to access Telefonica's webs to consult the status of the provisioning of a service, or access logistic operator webs to notify customers of the delivery dates of, for example, their routers. Technically, this is implemented as a virtual data layer that allows the combination of different sources and allows us to add additional sources when and if required. Due to the need of high availability of the call center, the tools used need to provide a robust production architecture based on high availability. The solution that we adopted at Gestel is an application server and a virtual platform server, both on high availability and configured in an active passive cluster under a Linux architecture with a web server for applications. This structure is easily integrated with the monitoring tools of the exploitation equipments. I will pass the presentation back to David, who will give you an overview of the implementation of the solution in relation to the users. Thank you, Juan Manuel. As you mentioned, I will be giving you a view of the application implementation as a user of the application, the benefits it provides, the increases in productivity, and resulting customer satisfaction scores. Going back to one of the initial statements, for Gestel, quality is a key factor where, as an organization, we dedicate time and focus. As a result, we have increased the quality of our service significantly with a satisfaction index of over 95%. So how has the single customer file contributed to the increase in quality? Quality for the customer standpoint means that we provide a solution to his requests and improve their expectations once they call us. In other words, the client expects quality, and we aim to exceed those expectations. From a quality perspective, there are also two additional key factors. One, the technical training that has allowed us to improve the customer satisfaction index. And the second is the efficiency and how we have managed to increase our FCR by five points. From our perspective, we need to provide a fast, adequate, and complete answer to customers' queries. When the unified desktop and single customer file, we had achieved the resolution of almost all calls are obtained via a single application, and that these are resolved quickly, and that the client is satisfied with the responses provided. Another clear benefit resulting from this year's implementation has been the personalization of attention. Each of our clients has different needs, and thanks to the single customer file, we have been able to segment our customers more efficiently and determining what the needs or products that may, they may be of interest for each customer in different points in time. For example, if from marketing we identify that a customer is making a significant number of international call, calls, our application allows us to flag the client for a specific international calling package. Another key factor to highlight is the standardization of the support process. The single customer file gives us the possibility to cater for all aspects of the call. One, locating and managing the client's requirements and data from a single source. And two, the integration of all our customer support processes that allows us to manage all support processes from a single source without needing to access any external source outside the customer file. Another key benefit is how we address multi-channel sources of requests and data. We currently receive requests via phone, email, and chat. It is key for us to be able to manage these from a single tool. From the company's perspective, though quality is important, it is key that this comes hand in hand with productivity increases and cost reductions. From a human resources perspective, there is now a clear reduction in training times given it is a single tool. Training times have been reduced in two to three days, and the learning curve improvement has been phenomenal. In only a month and a half, new agents are on board at the same level in relation to data quality and operation times as their counterparts who have been in the company far longer. The reduction of back office loads is evident. As calls are resolved more efficiently and at the moment of the calls, thanks to the new unified desktop application, reducing significantly the number of requests sent to the back office teams to resolve offline. Tool reliability has proven key as well 
as we run into no issues. Important as well is the integration speed. Given the dynamic nature of a call center, the possibility to quickly implement any business or operational requirements that have a result in call reduction times or increased quality is of key significance. And last but not least, the reporting possibilities that the new application gives us. We can now better analyze our multi-channel information with the unified desktop and altitude integration and identify client behavior by entry channel. And lastly, what are the next steps that we will be taking with our data virtualization implementation? First of all, we're looking to expand the unified desktop to all the operational areas. We're currently deployed customer support, technical support, and retention. We're looking to expand to more operational areas to exploit the full tool and implementation potential and functionality. As we're also continuously looking to include functionality based on agent's request to improve support or to support new services or new interactions with our customers. We will soon be implementing improvements to the client private area via the web where the application will be of key importance as it will be the base from which customers will be able to manage their own data online. The attention to VAXAs, once we analyzed outside solution, we realized that we had the tools in-house via our unified desktop. They integrate with our multi-channel approach and help in customer analysis and interrelation aspects. Given the functionality and potential that the data virtualization solution gives us, we will soon be kicking off a project to integrate social media data to our support centers via the single customer file. And with this, I will hand the presentation back to our moderator. Again, our thanks for the attention and participation in the webinar. We trust you will find the information of use. Thank you, Juan Manuel and David. We have had some great questions come in. Thanks to those of you who have submitted questions so far. We welcome your questions and encourage you to send any additional questions after the webinar to dvworldseries at denodo.com. We will be reviewing all questions coming in and ensure they are personally responded to following the event. We encourage you to attend the entire World Series on Data Virtualization. If you have just joined the series, or if you've missed any of the earlier episodes in the series, please note that we have the recordings on the previous episodes, and they are available on demand. To view them, visit our website and navigate from the home page banner on the World Series on Data Virtualization to the page on the series, where you will find the schedule with links to all of the recordings and mark your calendars for the rest of the World Series. We have some exciting episodes coming ahead. Our next episode will be on Wednesday, December 7th, titled Automating Trace Process for Positive ROI, a financial services case study that will be presented by Steve Cohn from Direct Legal and Collections. This webinar will include a Denoto Advanced Technology session on advanced web automation, harnessing the web for virtual data services. This will then be followed by a webinar on December 14th titled, Are You Being Served? Data Virtualization Speeds Customer Service and Backend Office Integration at Retailers with David Garcia Hernando, Customer Applications and Business Exchange Manager at the Phone House. Well, we have reached the end of the webinar for today. I'd like to thank our speakers and thank all of you for your participation. Signing off until next week, this is your host, Kim Lukens. The World Series on Data Virtualization is brought to you by Denoto Technologies, the leader in data virtualization delivering unmatched flexibility, performance, and ROI.